Barrel City Council Chambers, located at 716 West Main Street, Gun Barrel City, Texas, 75156, on Monday, October 1st at 5 p.m. Please rise for the invocation. Heavenly Father, we ask that you guide us in our deliberations to make equitable and fair decisions for our business community, our citizens, and the community as a whole. And while we're here, we thank you for the Dallas Cowboys' ability to com complete a few passes more than 20 yards and hope there are more to come. Amen. 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 <clears throat> Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United, United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, roll call from my left, please. Osborne here. Taylor here. Damiano here. Butler here. We have a quorum. Before we go into citizen presentations, I'd like to extend a special welcome to our newest member on the far right, Jim Nicholson. He has no outstanding warrants, and we are pleased to have him with us. Also, our new administrative assistant, a temporary Jamie Locke, uh, pleased to have her. She has about a week with us and has some previous uh, municipal experience with Caney City. So welcome to both of you. Citizens' presentations limited to three minutes. This item provides the opportunity for citizens to address the EDC Board of Directors on any matter whether or not it's posted on the agenda. However, in accordance with the Texas Open Meeting Act, Section 551.041, the EDC Board of Directors cannot discuss, deliberate, or take action on matters not listed on the agenda. At this time, the board will receive citizen comments and, if necessary, may refer the matter to EDC staff for research, resolution, or referral to the EDC board on a future agenda. Do we have any citizen presentations? None. We have none. Item number one, open public meeting in accordance with Texas Government Local Code 505.159. A public hearing will be held by the Gun Barrel City Economic Development Corporation, a Type B corporation, on Tuesday, October 1, 2018, at 5 p.m. in the Gun Barrel City Chambers, located, located at 1716 West Main Street, Gun Barrel City, Texas, 75156. David Westerfield, W House Designs, Inc., has requested financial assistance in the form of two grants in the amount of $25,000 for a project to be located at 432 and 4456 South Gun Barrel Lane, Gun Barrel City, Texas, and a $100,000 2% interest loan. It is requested that you make your views known, either in person or by writing to the Gun Barrel City Economic Development Corporation. Do we have anyone that would like to speak at the uh, public hearing? Last chance. Okay, before we begin, uh, W House has right now six employees, open the doors with one. Uh, the W House Decor and More has basically doubled their sales from their first year going into their second year. Uh, they've dressed up an empty building and made an absolutely wonderful place to shop or sp merely spend some time in a nice open courtyard. Uh, the plan for W House Designs is to buy these two buildings that are on either side of it, 432, the one to the north of them, is going to have a business by the name of Pillow Talk, making pillows, custom pillows with fringes around it and uh, whatever you want in a custom pillow and other uh, things of that nature, and also a uh, upscale consignment store located in the other half of that building. And if I can give you one piece of advice on the consignment store, no upholstered furniture. Bed bugs are rampant around here. And nobody's going to appreciate taking them home with them. Uh, the other, other side, 456, I think it was Pappy's Pool Hall, uh, is going to have a commercial kitchen, be serving lunch uh, with a first-class chef on board. They will also have a function room and dining area which will be linked directly to the open patio area that's there. Total cost 
on the two on two thirty two South Gun Barrel is one hundred and sixty three thousand for all of their renovations. We have good quotes, and on two fifty six it's two hundred and seventy five thousand. So there's four hundred thirty eight thousand plus some signage and paving going into this. Uh, David <coughs> and Thomas have made a very significant capital contribution to the community, and I want to credit Jim Osborne. I know years before I got active with the EDC, Jim was always railing about the number of empty storefronts and buildings that needed to be renovated. Uh, he has headed up the uh, facade improvement program for a total of about how many? Grants? Probably close to 30. Close to 30, and has also taken the lead on this particular product uh, project. This will be two more locations upgraded and looking much better. Item number two, discuss and take action. Uh, oh, yeah, the public hearing is closed. Item number two, discuss and take action to make W House Designs, Inc. a project with a project number. I'd like to make a motion that we designate uh, W House a project, assign a project number, which will be done by the EDC office, uh, and assign funds. Second. Voting from my left. Osborne, yes. Taylor, yes. Damiano, yes. Butler, yes. Nicholson, yes. Item number three, discuss and or take action on budget amendment needed to move $50,000 from future products projects line item to W House Designs, Inc. Currently, EDC has 100000 budgeted for this product project. EDC needs to f add 50000 to the W House Design, Inc. line item. I move that we uh, take action on the budget amendment, uh, which is needed to move 50000 from future projects line item to W House Designs, Inc. Currently, EDC has a $100,000 budget for this project. EDC needs to add 50000 to the W House Designs line item. Second. Any other discussion? Voting from my right. Nicholson, yes. Butler, yes. Damiano, yes. Taylor, yes. Osborne, yes. Uh, and I understand that we will prepare a resolution. Okay, very good. Item number four, discuss and or take action to approve a facade improvement grant for W House Designs for exterior or building improvements not to exceed $5,000 for location 432 South Gun Barrel Lane. I move that we uh, take action to approve a facade grant to W House Designs, Inc. for exterior uh, building improvements not to exceed 5000 for location at 432 South Gun Barrel Lane. Second. Any discussion? Voting from my right. Nicholson, yes. Butler, yes. Damiano, yes. Taylor, yes. Osborne, yes. Motion passes. Item number five. Discuss and or take action to approve a facade improvement grant to W House Designs, Inc. for exterior of building improvements not to exceed $5,000 for location 456 South Gun Barrel Lane. I make a motion that we take action to approve a facade improvement grant for W House Designs, Inc. for exterior building improvements not to exceed $5,000 for 456 South Gun Barrel Lane. Second. Any discussion? Voting from my right? Nicholson, yes. Butler, yes. Damiano, yes. Taylor, yes. Osborne, yes. Motion passes. Item number six, discuss and or take action to approve a matching grant to W House Designs, Inc. for expansion of W House Designs, Inc. not to exceed $25,000 for location 432 South Gun Barrel Lane. And I would add that the motion must include the fact that this replaces a previously approved $25,000 renovation grant. I make a motion that we approve a matching grant to W House uh, Designs for the expansion of W House Designs, Inc., not to exceed $25,000 for a location at 432 South Gun Barrel Lane, uh, also uh, eliminating the previous approved um, grant. Second. Any discussion? 
Voting from my right. Nicholson, yes. Butler, yes. Damiano, yes. Taylor, yes. Osborne, yes. <clears throat> Motion passes. Item number seven, discuss or take action to approve a matching grant to W House Designs, Inc. for expansion of W House Designs, Inc., not to exceed $25,000 for location 456 South Gun Barrel Lane. And I would add that this also, the motion needs to state that this motion replaces the previously approved renovation grant. I make a uh, motion that we approve a matching grant to W House Designs for expansion of W House Designs, Inc., not to exceed $25,000 for a location at 456 South Gun Barrel Lane and replaces the previously approved grant. Second. Any discussion? Vote from my right. Nicholson, yes. Butler, yes. <coughs> Damiano, yes. Taylor, yes. Osborne, yes. Discuss and or take action, or, I'm sorry, item passes. Item number eight, discuss and or take action to approve a $100,000 2% interest loan, term 10 years for David, ha David Westerfield, W House Designs, Inc. Uh, I would add that this loan will have the personal guarantees of David w Westerfield and Thomas Vagel and also have an assignment of a $100,000 interest in a life insurance policy. I move that we take action to approve a $100,000, 2% interest loan term for 10 years with David Westerfield, W House Designs, with all the previously um, discussed provisions. Second. Any discussion? Yeah, I have a question. Yes. Uh, how do we prove the life insurance policy? How do we prove that it is getting paid? if it's a monthly payment to keep the life insurance policy active? He will have to bring in the policy for us. We then get the assignment, and I believe the assignment will give us the right to pay the premium if he, if he doesn't. And if he decides to cancel the policy, will we be notified? Yes. That's the normal. I've done them before. Uh, okay, while we're at it, if, uh, no offense, David. <laughs> If he cancels the policy, <clears throat> what's our recourse? Loan is in default. Uh, then again, what's our recourse? Sue him. He's got a personal, there, there's two personal guarantees in this yeah. loan, and for the amount of money that's being put up, I think these are mute questions because the amount of his investment does not include the land that he's bought, the vacant lot, the other building that's not mentioned in this. So, I mean, how much more do you want him on the cross? It's not a matter of how much more I want, okay, is that we've been through this before on guarantees, and I don't doubt you, David. I really don't. Uh, let me ask you a question. Are the buildings paid for? They are not. Okay. Okay. I have visited a little bit with Jeff Moore about this, and Jeff Moore will answer all of those questions that you have asked about how the assignment occurs, how the policy stays active, and how we have a say in that. So in the loan agreement, it will specify all of those terms. You mean in the performance agreement? Or no, in the loan agreement. This, this, this first one is a loan agreement that we loan 100000 just like you would get at a bank, and then there's a performance agreement besides that. Okay, I was going to say there needs to be a performance agreement. Yeah, and has that been drawn up yet? It has not. Okay. It is not. It will be, it will be on its way tomorrow. Okay. Um. Further discussion? David, I would encourage you to bring the policy in as soon as possible because we can't fund until the assignment is acknowledged. And uh, we've got the 60 days we're going through anyway, plus the city council approvals. But the earlier we can initiate that, the better probably. Yeah, and just, if I might add, it's the performance agreement also has to be signed before it gets funded. Yeah. So that no, no, I know that. I'm just clarifying so that there's no surprises for anybody. Okay, good boy. Any further discussion? Voting from my right. Nicholson, yes. Butler, yes. Damiano, yes. Taylor, yes. Osborne, yes. Motion passes. 
Item number nine, Gun Barrel City EDC will now hold a closed executive session meeting pursuant to the provisions of Chapter 551 of the Texas Government Code in accordance with the authority contained in Texas Government Code 551.087, deliberations regarding development negotiations for W House. Does anyone see a need for executive no. session? I'll make a motion that we bypass. Uh, the item that has us going into executive session. Second. Voting from my right. Nicholson, yes. Butler, yes. Damiano, yes. Taylor, yes. Osborne, yes. We will now reconvene into regular s session pursuant to the provisions of Chapter 551 of the Texas Government Code to take any action necessary regarding the items discussed in executive session, which there were none. I would entertain a motion for adjournment. Motion to adjourn. Second. Voting from my right. Nicholson, yes. <laughs> Damiano, yes. Haley, yes. <laughs> Meeting is adjourned. It is 616. 516. 616 somewhere.